Hey everyone, so today I'm coming to you with a mini review and an overview of a new product that came out. It is the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation and Brush Set, and this was a QVC exclusive. I told you guys that a couple weeks ago my mom had purchased a couple items for me as a thank you gift for doing her hair. I kind of barter with them sometimes. And it came yesterday. It was shipped out on the 25th. It's the premiere of the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation and Brush Set. Now, if you get your Bare Minerals Ready Foundation in the boutique, it will not be sold in the limited edition compact that I received, nor will it come with a brush. They will be sold separately. So QVC had launched this um, about two weeks ago, and it came in a silver limited edition set. It's um, a brush set with um, the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation. Now, from my understanding, um, when my mom purchased it, there was still plenty to go around, but from my understanding, when Leslie was at QVC this past weekend, they sold out. So you'll no longer be able to get it in the silver brush and uh, silver compact ready set. So I'm not sure if they're still offering it as a set, but just with the black compact, I really don't know. Um, my mom did purchase it in the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation in the shade um, Fairly Light because that is what I use in the Loose Minerals. So I stuck with it. Um, I know that some of the shades are not available in the Ready Foundation that are available in the Pot Size Foundation. Um, they do say that technically a lot of people are finding that they're going to go a shade darker than what they go in the loose because of the way that you apply this uh, for extra coverage, but I will talk a little bit about that in a second. Now, the set came with the uh, Bare Minerals Ready Foundation solid in a silver limited edition compact, as well as the Bare Minerals, um, they're calling this the Precision Face Brush, and this is specifically made for the foundation solid. Now this set was $39.98, I believe, on QVC. Um, again, my mom did purchase this as a gift for me for doing her hair. So I did not pay for this. I am on a no-spend diet, and I was not changing that for this, even though I really wanted it. So we, we bartered a little. Okay, so it came in really cute packaging. Let me kind of go through this. talks about the drug facts and the information on the back. Um, some people are really upset because um, I know there's... Um, Titanium dioxide um, for sunscreen, zinc oxide, and some people are allergic to that and things like that. But again, these are things that they have to put in there for um, preventative measures for sunscreen. There is also um, something in here that some people say that they're allergic to is uh, the um, bismuth oxychloride, I believe is what it, how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure. But I know a lot of people say that they break out from that. I do not. I don't have a problem with it. Um, Never had a problem with uh, bare minerals ever, and I don't certainly have a problem with that. So, anywho, it is a 14 gram, 0.49 ounces um, foundation. It just says fairly light on the top. You're probably not going to see that. Um, and the way it opens is like all their ready packaging. It just opens up like an envelope, talks a little bit about it on the top. And then it comes with the little instruction booklet, which really doesn't tell you anything because the instruction booklet that's included with the Ready says um, swirl buff tap method, which you're not supposed to use with this. So I will talk about that also. This is what it looks like on the back. Okay, talks a little bit about it. Talks about the sunscreen, things like that. It's got the beautiful bare minerals on the front, and it's already dirty because I used it. Nice full size mirror, as well as this is what the foundation looks like. Now, it looks like just the regular uh, foundation. It is nice and creamy. Um, it looks like this. It's, it's nice uh, consistency here. Now, one thing I will say is um, with everybody saying that you should go up a shade darker, um, my thoughts with that are, um, let me just see if I can get this in focus a little bit. Come on, focus. There we go. Okay, sorry. I didn't want to be blurry. Um, my thoughts and opinions on that are I find that fairly light, although... The reason they're saying that is because of the coverage factor. They're saying um, that some people are thinking that just a little bit darker kind of covers the imperfections a little bit more, or dark circles more. My personal opinion is fairly light in the loose minerals. I've always loved it. It's always worn well with my skin, but I do find it's a little bit of a warmer tone in the loose mineral makeup than in the solid makeup. And I actually love the solid makeup look better on my skin because it actually matches my skin 100% perfectly. Um, there's no, not that there was a line of demarcation, but it doesn't look like my face was sun glown or sun kissed as it does with the loose, if that makes any sense. And I apologize if I'm rambling, but I'm trying to explain it so you guys understand the differences. The loose minerals 
are a little bit more pigmented as far as that goes maybe because of the way it's formulated because it's loose and when you crush it into your skin it really uh, pigments your skin whereas this is a solid and because it's cold pressed minerals the technology is different and the methodology to actually apply this makeup is different as well um, I'll show you the brush this is what they're calling the precision face brush it's a beautiful brush it's a nice full-size brush it's very 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 soft it's amazing and as you can see it's a nice slant the reason Leslie designed this brush was so it can get in the nooks and crannies of your nose, underneath your eyes, around every little area, and it's great coverage. Now, what I want to say is the method of actually putting this foundation on, the way it's different. With Bare Essentials, if you've ever used Bare Minerals before, it's a swirl, tap, buff method. And as I've told you guys in past videos, some of you have said to me or left me comments, I've used Bare, bare Minerals several times. I can never get it to cover. How do you get it to cover? How do you get it to make your face look flawless? As I've told you guys before, it takes time and it takes blending. That is what the regular minerals are all about, is the swirl, tap, and really buff it into the skin. And the reason why you really need to buff a lot is because it crushes the minerals into your skin and gives the pigmentation of the foundation. With the Ready Foundation, there's a new method. And if you didn't see QVC, go to QVC.com. There is a video on there that Jessica posted uh, from Bare Essentials of how to actually do it. I will show you guys, but she does a really great job of explaining it. And that is exactly how you need to do it. The little instruction booklet still says swirl buff tap or swirl tap buff. That's not how you want to do it with this stuff. So you take your foundation, your solid foundation, and your brush. And all you do is you take it and you tap, tap, tap. And as you can see, there's just the littlest bit of foundation on there. You barely want to see the foundation. What you do then is you do long, big strokes throughout your face. And that is what applies those minerals. Okay? The more you do long strokes on your face, the more your makeup warms to your skin and it blends into your skin as second skin, just like the regular loose minerals, but the long stroke method will actually warm up these cold pressed minerals and actually blend them into your skin and make them like second skin. So this is actually a beautiful method and I love this method. It does take just a little bit longer to do long strokes and really warm the skin up to be able to blend it in and actually see the coverage as opposed to the loose minerals but I will tell you I love the coverage of this once you blend it well and I really love the fact that you barely go tap 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 and you've got a little bit and you barely use any you use a lot less mineral makeup with this method than with the loose minerals and there's no waste because there's not mineral makeup going everywhere um, the price is very nicely um, pinpointed it is $29 for the solid foundation alone okay and the brush I believe is in the $29 range as well so for the set in retail if you purchase them you have to purchase them separately and they won't have the silver to them so purchase separately in retail I think the um, the two together is about $57 and now on QVC it was $39.98 for the set and that was the limited edition brush with silver handle and the limited edition compact with silver um, so again, if you purchase it separately in retail, it's going to be about $57. So you saved almost $20 doing it on QVC. You use less minerals. These are cold pressed minerals. So just like the mineral makeup, they have great skin benefits. SPF 20 um, in the mineral, um, the press, which the regular is 15. So that's an upgrade. Um, it's got amazing skin benefits. Now, as long as you're not allergic to anything in the mineral makeup, then you're good to go. But again, you might want to check their website to see what's in the makeup. And I love it because it is in a compact, so you can take it with you. Again, it's not going to be messy. It's not going to, you know, you're not going to waste any minerals when you open it. They're not going to fly all over the place. You use very, very, very little. Just tap, 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 and then long strokes on your face. And just keep doing that until the minerals warm up on your face. And then they go into your skin like second skin. Um, I have it on today. Obviously, I told you guys that. I feel it gives me amazing, flawless coverage. It did take me about a full five minutes to really work the minerals into my skin and to make sure I had the coverage that I was looking for. It goes from sheer to full coverage, depending on how much you tap, tap, and how many times you swirl it around your face and work it in. It's not how much mineral makeup you use. It's how much you, you swirl it into your skin. 
The more strokes you do and the more you swirl it in, the more it warms up to your skin and it covers. So just remember that. It doesn't mean you use more of this. It just means you use more of this um, with the, the long strokes. Um, I am on a um, every four month auto delivery plan where every four months I will get another solid. You won't get a new brush, but you get a solid for $29. Now the solid will be black after this one. So this first one is only silver. After that, it's solid black. So if you're a BE collector like I am and you like to get the sets and the collections that come out, the solid in the silver with the silver brush, this is something you're never going to be able to get in retail, and it was done exclusively for QVC. So the wonderful thing about that is if you're a collector like myself and you're an avid BE user, this is a beautiful piece to have to your collection. So even when the minerals are all gone, which this will take me a long time to go through, that's why they auto-deliver it every four months, because it's a four-month supply in here when used properly. Um, so basically, every four months you'll get a new one, So and you can cancel it at any time. Now... With this solid, once I'm done using it, I'm going to continue to keep the compact and the brush just as a vanity piece, um, just because I really think it's classy looking. But again, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of this. Let me know your thoughts. You guys have seen Bare Essentials on my face before. Do you guys think it looks any different? Um, you know, What are your thoughts and opinions? Feel free to leave them down below. Let me know if you guys have tried the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation. Um, it is actually not out in stores. Like I said, it will be... Um, going out in store some are April or August 30th which is tomorrow and some are September 1st boutiques so it's nationwide I know by September 1st so if you have a boutique definitely go down and check it out or let me know if you've gone on QVC and gotten yourself a set and I will see you guys all in the next video bye